Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. And for the better part of a century, the Sooners and Longhorns have defined conferences, national titles, and how regions of the country are perceived based on the outcome of this game. When these two meet, everybody pays attention. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Longhorns will kick it away to start us off. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Oklahoma's offense will get the first crack at it here. Guys, this rivalry's a throwback. Aren't many left like this with the stadiums divided right down the middle. So much tremendous history between these two teams. And, David, it just always seems in this game, you throw out the stats, you throw out the standings, you throw out the records, and this is just a different energy when we see these teams play. It's because you bring in the hatred. They don't like each other. The fan bases don't like each other. Texas, Oklahoma, it always means a lot. The Sooners racing to the line in the hurry-up. Might as well give it to him again. Nice move to pick up yardage. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. Really nice run. This guy brings balance to this offense. It's not all high-flying aerial passing attack, too. You go back to Adrian Peterson, DeMarco Murray, Samaj P. Ryan. They've always had guys in these spread-up tempo offenses that have been able to give them balance and force the defense to stay honest. That's exactly what this guy brings the Sooner on offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. You can't help but think back to last year, Jesse, when Oklahoma figured out a way to win that close game. And Reese, Texas has been reminded every day this past year about losing that game close, too. So you knew, David, coming out in this one, they were going to be amped up and ready to roll. And you know the juices are flowing early in the game. Like, this is not a friendly rivalry. OU doesn't like Texas. Texas doesn't like OU. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. A lot of chapters in this rivalry. They've been in different conferences. They've been in the same conference. And now they're going to the SEC to elevate this view. And I feel like it just takes rivalry games in the SEC to a whole new level, right? When you think about Texas and Oklahoma, you think about past Heisman Trophy winners and national championships. And now, David, you're adding that to Florida, Georgia, Alabama, LSU. It's just an entirely different level now. Yeah, and it's just fun to watch rivalries in college football. And we've lost a lot of them with expansion. This one we get to keep. I love that they're both going to the SEC. They're going to play each other a bunch. We're going to still have this Red River rivalry that gets so many people excited. It's an unbelievable event. We've been there for game day a bunch. It is absolutely crazy. You'll call for the fair catch here. So the Texas Longhorns offense has the ball for the first time. And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's a different hand. Might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Fires to the tight end. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. And that's just a timing route. And if I'm a quarterback, and they're going to sit back in zone, when I run those crossers, man, I just wait for that zone window to open up, anticipate it a little bit, chunk that thing, and let my receiver do the rest of the work. The Longhorns are in the hurry up.
Looking to throw, it's Ewers. Lost one deep down the right side. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. When I'm an offensive coach, I'm going to take shots. I'm going to take those 50-50 balls. And most of the time, I'm going to trust my wide receiver to come down with it. The defensive back said, no, sir. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Ball is at the 41 as his defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They move the tight end all over. They'll give it on the counter. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. And the Longhorns will line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And that ball will sail into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. Back to pass. It's Arnold. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And you usually don't bring in dime packages for running teams. You bring in dime because you know they're going to throw the football. you got more speed on the back end to cover. And defensive linemen know they have their job to do. And their job is to go get that quarterback and get that sucker on the ground. And the Sooners will call on their punt team. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Playing a field position game as he makes the fair catch right at the 50. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. 
After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Let's see what they've got on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Trying to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. This kicker brags that he can kick an 80-yard field goal. He'll settle for a 59-yarder here. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out you got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, Oklahoma's DNA is being tough. They have a whole drill about being tough, named after them. The Oklahoma drill, and they won that one. Yeah, and we've seen that kind of come and go some throughout the years, but it started with serious physicality back in the day when they ran the option and just hit you in the mouth. But, you know, football's involved, and, and that's the one thing about this offense. Can they keep their physicality and assert their physicality? The good Oklahoma teams are physical. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Takes the handoff. It's all Chuck. At the 45 on its way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, and how about this offense? A little counter, a little misdirection. Get everybody's eyes going one direction. They go back the other way. Nice execution by the offense to make the big running play down the field. The Sooners will snap it on first and ten. And they've got him looking run now to pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. We're 
30 in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And very important not only to generate power, but to find his mark, a 49-yard try from the left. set to kick it away here he comes from inside his own five not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 so Texas has it again and here comes the offense they'll run it from the gun and how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing how about the defender being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Grabbed behind the line. It's Bolden. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking for room. It's blue. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yard. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. The Longhorns are rolling down the field. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Back to throw. It's Ewers. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. The Longhorns will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. The give from the gun. Looks as if he'll get it up to about the 14-yard line. 
You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. And the Sooners in the hurry up. They'll keep it on the ground. Makes his man miss. Stopped at the 24-yard line after the 10-yard gain. And a great job on the offensive line. You're going to run the ball right up the middle. You better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big gain. First and 10 from their own 24-yard line. The give to the back. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll pull it on the read. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. Well, good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end, crashing down, keeps it himself, gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you just sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. We're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters now. That is a staple of this sport. But a little time, lets it go. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. They run the reverse. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the defense is all over the quarterback and down he goes. That is a gut punch if you're the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. The Sooners decide to punt it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one matchups. Got his man downfield. 
And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ball. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. After the big first down sack, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. Pulls it in. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. You know, sometimes even a short gain like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. On third down, going up top. Let's it slip right through his hands and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Longhorns line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. On the move, it's Bowen. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Give to the back. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. The Sooners will hustle to the line. He'll keep it himself. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. He's going to fire deep. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. And the Sooners send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver shows motion. Off the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Bird Orange burning some secondaries working this guy down the field. And making those big plays down the field. Texas when you think about great teams you think about explosive playmakers making those big plays keeping those defenses on their heels out of the gun the give to the back 
That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Taka 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 They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And they swarm him under. And I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run, not only a positive run, shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. Here on third down. To throw. It's Ewers. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. Never a doubt. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. Right back to the well. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. A great Oklahoma running attack will bring a tear to the Boomer Sooner Nation eye thinking of guys like Billy Sims. And where it all started was always the ground game and the toughness, and you never question that. In Oklahoma, they got to get to that. They got to be that. They got to live that if they really want to build on what they used to be and bring that tradition and build some of that tradition in the SEC. A shot toward the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Oh, and the offense just not able to come up with that. You knew that was going to be a bang-bang play, right? They're taking a shot into the end zone. That's going to have to meet a contested catch on the back end. But he wasn't able to come up with it because of the hit. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, you saw that broken tackle, David. This defense has to do a real good job with gang tackling to stop this guy today. You cannot assume one guy's going to get him to the ground. Everybody's got to swarm to the football, all eyes on him, and play physically. Back to throw, it's Arnold. 
Just a short pass to the tight end. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? Most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they, see, and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. The Sooners want to move quickly. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They got a little bit, um, but they didn't get the first down. And you're obviously trying to get the first down. But you try to slip in those screens occasionally on third down. I like when you slip them in there trying to make a big play, catch the defense maybe being a little aggressive. So now on comes the field goal unit. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Wait just a second. There is a flag on the play. If this is on the defense, it could be a first down. This could turn out to be a huge penalty. Thought they were going to have to settle for three, and now the offense back on the field with a chance for more. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. Takes the handoff. It's all Chuck. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. They're setting up the screen. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning about the play call there guys third down they're throwing it behind the line of scrimmage seeing if this guy can do something once he has it in his hands but a better job of pursuit and tackling defensively now setting up fourth it's fourth down and they'll try the field goal it's good and that was dead solid perfect and the field goal ties it up here in the second quarter Kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. They'll start this drive from the 18-yard line. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. To the air, it's yours. It's complete to the right. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force the negative play. 
This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They're bringing heat. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. we got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. The Longhorns will send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Bowen. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. And the Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Looking to throw on second down. Caught behind the line. It's all chuck. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. They started his drive in great field position now, needing to convert on third and two. They'll try to run for it. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, Low man wins all the cliches to get that third down and short. The Sooners will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass. Safe completion on the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Uh, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Snagged in the middle. It's all Chuck. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Really nice job by the running back setting up that angle route. He's making it look like he's running to the flat, and then he puts his foot in the ground, cuts back across the defender's face, and makes himself an easy target for the quarterback. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. To the air. It's Arnold. The sweet feet by a little time. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. Between the uprights, it's good. And they go back on top.
So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Texas offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You've got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. From the gun, running back gets to give. Continues to fight for yards. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Sooners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Longhorns sending the offense back onto the field. After the lack of production in the first half, plenty to talk about. Let's see what they can dial up here in the third quarter. Yeah, I, I think you stay calm. I think you make adjustments, Jesse. I think you realize what they're doing to us and how can I attack that. But you also tell the guys, low scoring game, still very much in this. We can still be who we are. It's a good point. I think on offense, this is not the time to reinvent the wheel. I think you stay true to who you are and what your identity is. And you've got to show confidence in your guys to go out and just execute better here in the second half. A strike downfield. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. Hookham is hooking up with some big plays in the passing game. Finding their guys down the field. You, you think about offenses that Texas usually have, some form of spread, and then find those elite guys on the outside that can win those matchups for you and make those big plays. Got a man. It's held. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Some hand fighting at the point of the catch will draw the penalty, but this one is going to go against the offense. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Great play by the cornerback. And this offense, they're just trying to get this receiver the ball quickly to see if he can make something happen. But that cornerback was draped all over. Nice job. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Ewers. Lofts one high and deep. And the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth, and there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. Oh. 
And the Longhorns will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. And the Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Takes it the other way. At the 20. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I show you, I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, bro. to attempt to try. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Getting that push. They pick up a four out to the 26. trying to create some confusion. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Hey, midfield, he's got room. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the lore of a rivalry. 
And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. The Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Oh, he drops it. That is a catch he makes 99 times out of 100, but it'll be third down. Man, when you go over the middle, you've got to be willing to take the punishment. You're going to get hit a lot of times anyways, so you might as well catch the football, but his arms start to look a little bit like Reese Davis when the check comes at dinner. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. And this is why this team is losing this game. Right they cannot protect their quarterback. He's already been sacked a bunch of times, almost got sacked right there. This guy doesn't have a chance with the way this offensive line is playing. The Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Now after the short completion, it's second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Tried to get him a little breathing room, and they're still suffocating in their own end. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. Stop the run first. You guys, they're not going to give up on picking up the first down, but they also need some breathing room for the punter. The give to the back. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. The Longhorns will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Looking for a block. It's Bowen. And the returner goes down. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And the Sooners are in the hurry up. Reads it, fires complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Really nice job threading the needle on that pass. They've had a lot of dudes that were able to do that in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heupel, Jason White, Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. The names go on and on and on. Hurting you in the passing game with their vision, with their accuracy. This guy, I tell you, he fits right in in this Oklahoma offense. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Got him downfield. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. 
Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. On the move, it's Blue. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. I wonder if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll run play action. Fires to the big fella. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. Right down the middle. He's got it. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chain. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third-down situations. Wants to throw on first down. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 39. Handoff from the gun. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wide out in motion. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. The give to the back. Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Movement here from the tight end. Makes the catch. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns! 
backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting a touch in. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. On the ground, it's Ocha. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. They showed this run in the first half, right? You saw it. They loaded up on this side, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Pull some guys, run the counter the other direction to keep the defense off balance. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. The Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Burks. They get him down after he makes the catch. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Trying to move them on the counter. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. try for the offense. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down.
They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. Finds a tight end down the gut. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Quick strike complete. He just slips and slides his way down to the 42. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Let's see what they do on third down. Motion from the offense. Unloads quickly. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That one. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Bolden. And a confident throw and catch, and they're in the red zone at the 13. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball, and because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back-to-back. -back. They'll throw it from the red zone. He's got it on the run. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. The defense has their hands full of trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Back to throw. It's yours. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out, throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. The give to the tailback. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. 
On second down, wants to throw it. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. And it's incomplete on third down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing. But now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. The Sooners will call on their punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. To the air, it's Ewers. Trying to beat the D deep. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Love the coverage on the back end. The defender staying right by the receiver and the intended target. And as a result, that ball's incomplete. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's bolded. And this one will be stopped for no gain. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the grab on third down, and that is a rare drop for this guy. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. The Longhorns will bring the punt team onto the field. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quarterback on the keeper. Ball is free. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. It's great to have a running threat at quarterback, but he's got to take care of the ball once he gets into traffic, and he didn't there. He does, Reese, and he's a guy that is going to get a lot of opportunities to carry the football in this game because of the speed, because of his open field running ability, but you're right. You've got to be better with your ball security. This defense, when they can see the quarterback running, they start getting excited. That's a guy they feel they can rip the ball away from. They did right there. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Man, you go from perfect position of strength. I get to salt this clock away. I get to run this out. I'm going to win to, man, now i got to put my defense back on the field. And you, anything can happen, right? Football, and you can catch breaks. And so now you got to go out and earn it. You had this thing under wraps. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right here. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. You, you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing. Every possession is going to be important from here on in. And the Sooners in the hurry up. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter. And 
two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Used the play fake. Now to throw. He's got an open man. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. Red pass, it's complete. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. They'll try it over the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. His drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. It's a reverse. <laughs> He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue, but no Oscars being handed out on that. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Texas offense. This time they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive reads. You still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Looking to pass, it's Ewers. Finds his big tight end. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Trying play action. Looking for a big game. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass in what would have been a huge gain. No defender anywhere around. And he just flat dropped it. And the Longhorns decide to punt it away. He'll bring it back. It's Bowen. 
That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. They'll give it to the back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The Sooners will hustle to the line. The give to the running back from the shotgun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Goes to the option. Now the pitch. And the fourth option there is to throw it in reverse, and that's what happened on that one. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. And the Sooners line up to punt it away. The fair catch called for and made. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. To the air. It's Ewers. He's looking deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Oh, look out. There he goes. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Longhorn. And Bebo's really starting to snarl right now, and he'd love to rub the Sooner Schooner's face right in it, David. Yeah, they got it cooking. The Longhorns are looking good. In this rivalry game, you got half the crowd in this burnt orange, Jesse, that is going bananas right now. Boomer Sooner's got the weapons, though, guys, on offense. You've got the horses on the outside to turn this thing into a track meet. I know you're down here, but you can change this game. It just takes one play. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point splits the uprights and the lead balloons to 15. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. No shot to return that one as he boomed it out of the back of the end zone. A first down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air, chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Got it in the middle, it's Anderson. Tackled immediately after the catch. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Wants to throw. It's Arnold. 
unloads to the wide out. Complete to the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Sooners have it in scoring position on first and goal. Looking to throw it again. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They are getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Pocket starts to collapse. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. A huge chance for points here on third and goal. And if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Looking for the score. And that one is picked up in the end zone. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. He got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they tried to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop him. Pulls it in. It's blue. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Defense has to do a better job affecting the quarterback, guys, on money downs. Third down, you've got to be able to affect him, and the pass pro that time was just way too good. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. This game always brings out the best in both teams, but today, Jesse, Texas' best was a little better. And this is a win for them that's going to help their recruiting. Coaches are going to get paid for, but most importantly, David, Texas gets bragging rights for another whole year. A whole year of bragging. And a whole year of telling OU fans, you're not as good as us. You can throw up the hook'em horns. You can do it with pride. A lot on the line every year in the Red River rivalry. It may not be a crown, but it's a hat, and it is golden. In this latest edition of the Red River rivalry, it goes to Texas. For David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, I'm Reese Davis. Until next time... That'll do it for this edition of EA Sports College Football.